and YouTube. All right, we are getting started here in the kitchen, the Casino O'Brien. Welcome, everybody. Get everything set up. And let's see if the Zoom works. I just got my notification. Cool. Hello, Facebook land. We are live in Casa O'Brien with not one, not two, but three different cameras. Hello, Hi, hello. Sherry. Let's see that pretty smile. Hi. So we are live tonight at the O'Brien house. We are cooking some pasta tonight. Do you want to learn how to cook? So we have a group uh, with Triumph Fitness and Nutrition. That's our gym. That we have a, how many weeks do we have left? Six weeks left, I believe, but we're doing a cooking demo nice. for our group. So we decided that we could go live on our Facebook pages as well. So for sure, for those of you all tuning in, we're about to do an amazing, we'll do one speaking action. Mm -hmm. um, the goal for tonight is go over pasta substitutes. We got uh, lots of things happening here. So we got three cameras going, a Zoom, simulcasting on five different Facebook channels and YouTube live at Coach Matt O'Brien um, YouTube channel. I don't know why Zoom is doing admits. I don't know. Do you want me to stand here and do it? Um, yeah. I'll help so admit people. see. Record to the cloud. Let's see if that works. Recording. Beautiful. I assume that's what they're seeing. Uh, Sherry, can you hear me? Give me a thumbs up. All right, so you can okay. just make sure we're, what they can see. All right, so you ready? I'm ready, yeah. All Stand right, up. so we'll use our little kitchen cuts. Let's uh, first welcome everybody. Uh, and this is my, obviously my wife, Holly O'Brien, and we're on her channel. We're on uh, multiple channels for mm -hmm. Triad Fitness and Nutrition, Coach Matt O'Brien, my profile, and the Magic Pill uh, Facebook group or Facebook page. So welcome everybody, and also YouTube Live. So we are simulcasting this to lots of channels, and we got people tuning in to our Zoom, our coaching clients in the Forever Diet program. I call them students. And uh, we'll tell you a little bit more about that program in a few. But we just want to welcome everybody, we're, regardless of where you're tuning in from. And we're going to have some fun today. Everybody loves, I would say, the two things. Would you agree? The two things that are commonly uh, missed in a typical diet program, at least from my 22 years of experience, are... Pasta. Pasta and pizza. Mm. I love pizza. So last week we we hit a little bit of a pizza option called the Mitza. And we also talked about chaffles. So there's lots of ways that you can do a sustainable diet without missing out our favorite staples. And Holly, my beautiful wife, is the master at crafting some amazing things. So we're going to give you guys some live demos tonight, show you some easy Delicious options. Uh, we locked our kids up, literally, I think, in their bedroom. <laughs> I didn't lock bedroom. the door, but I probably should have locked the door. Uh, I'm when like, my, don't come out. Uh, when Keegan, who's 10 now, when he was a baby, we literally had a lock outside his door to keep him He was safe in. at night, and like we thought he was going to leave the house. So <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. So whatever channel you're tuning in, whether you're on Holly's or any of mine or on Zoom, in the chat or in the comments, First off, put live or replay. And second, put in your favorite pasta dish. Ooh, your favorite, favorite pasta, pasta dish. dish. Type it in. What do you think of a couple? Narrow it down. Let, I don't care. Put <laughs> two. two. If you don't, you'd be going to type fast. What put is your two. favorite pasta dish? Your favorite pasta. Mm. Mine is a classic spaghetti and meatballs. Holly, what's yours? Mine used to be mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. I and mean, I could not stop eating mac and cheese. Like, he would have to take it from me. Oh, yeah. Take that's true. it from me. That was one of her trigger foods. I love food. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. 
Uh, incidentally, we're going to do a quick review of how to make a uh, wheat-free, grain-free um, mac and cheese tonight. So that's coming. That's coming. So stay tuned. And those of you that are tuned in, live or replay. Potato, spaghetti. Yummy. Yeah, put it in there. Uh, those of you that put Alfredo, do you know that's the most calorie dense pasta dish on the planet uh -oh. in its original state? Ashley, uh, but it is amazing, <laughs> and uh, so welcome to everybody. And let's get into for those of you that since we're on so many platforms, we're gonna introduce ourselves, and we thought that I would introduce my beautiful wife first, and then she can introduce me. We'll see. Y'all can vote on who does a better introduction. So we both went through Dale Carnegie's uh, master speaker, master presenter training, and I think Holly took better notes and did a better job. So I'm going to put my money on her. But if Jeff Scheimer, if you're tuned in, this is for you, baby. So you want me to go first? Sure. You're talking. You can go first. All right. Well, let me introduce... Uh, first and foremost, someone that is an amazing wife, an amazing mother. When I met this person 16 years ago, I think she cooked mac and cheese, peanut butter and jelly, which isn't cooking, and chicken Lombardi was like her dish, and she would serve that with a Miller Lite. That was her. <laughs> that was yes. her wheelhouse of cooking, and. Um, Besides that, on our personal side, she's a amazing, talented makeup artist. And like many people, COVID kind of shut the door on that career field, which was part of her why anyway. And I call her the most amazing clothingpreneur oh. <laughs> on the planet. Clothingpreneur. And uh, a wife, mother, and most importantly, besides being my amazing wife, the most giving person on the planet. This is a person that met somebody in a park, knew she found out she was a sick and literally came home and made her homemade chicken noodle soup and took it to her on meeting somebody in the park. I kind that's, of sound crazy. No, I don't, I don't that some people might think that's crazy, but Holly is just that's her giving nature and uh it, it's coming through in her business and we're going to give you all opportunities to join us in all different endeavors that we are involved with but uh, that's my wife so welcome holly lynch o'brien my amazing wife of 14 plus years you did a good job i'm proud of you good job Mr. all right Ryan. your turn well now that you guys know who i am and my whole life story there's no tear if you forget okay who you are yeah oh i like it author <laughs> i like that you did this very <laughs> cute mr o'brien uh this wonderful man here is my husband he has taught me so much in the years that i met him when i was a wee age of 22 years old very Great old robert <laughs> he's the author of the magic pill founder of triumph nation creator of the forever diet husband and father and coach also one of the most incredible people i've ever met you guys have met him and if you haven't met him, him you'll want to get to know him. Uh, he's an incredible father, incredible husband, very intelligent, one of the smartest people I've ever met, besides myself, of course. I don't think she's met many people, but <laughs> I'll take the compliment. This man cares about you more than you'll ever know. He's a man of few words, lots of knowledge, Mr. O'Brien, married to a wonderful person named Holly O'Brien. <laughs> That's my biggest asset. <laughs> That's so, the best thing I got going for me. Yeah, thank you guys for joining us. We're excited to be here. We're going to get started because I know you, your mouth is watering. You want to know about pasta. How can I have pasta and not have all the tummy aches, the belly aches, the after aches, and the after fluff? This is very true. Um, and just to illustrate a quick story, last weekend, you know, guys, if any guys are on here, you probably relate to this. We all think we're immortal. We all think we're Superman. But even Superman has his kryptonite, sure. which I learned this weekend. So Friday night was a supper club group that we're involved with. Oh. And <laughs> we ended up going to a Italian place. And I had real pasta in a long time. So I had some angel hair, side of angel hair pasta with my asabuco. And then Sunday, 
uh, my son and my older son Keegan and I had a daddy date. Holly went on our younger son with our younger son Caden on a mommy date, and uh, Keegan wanted to go to pizza and ice cream. So not good for dieting, uh, but as you know, those of you that are in the Forever Diet program, nothing's off limits. You just have to learn the checks and balances. So point of the story is between the pasta and the pizza, um, I realized what inflammation is all about. Uh, not to be TMI here, but gas, TMI. <laughs> bloating, cramping, basically miserable. Uh, from eating those foods and, and you know it's not to say that to scare you but it was just my body reacting to the inflammatory response that most of us adapt to because we eat these foods all the time but when you don't you start to realize um maybe these aren't good for me if my body's reacting to this warning light warning light warning light like on the dashboard when you're driving and your uh engine warning light comes on that's your body saying you shouldn't be eating this stuff. This is not good. But that is what happened to me. So I told a couple of my clients this weekend, let the punishment fit the crime. I don't know. Is there anybody in the waiting room here? I just want to make sure we're not uh, excluding anybody. I don't know why there was a waiting room. I will go down so you can still talk. Um, but let me borrow our notes while you're doing that. Um, so... That being said, um, I one of the many endeavors. Uh, ultimately, what Holly and I aspire to do, and Holly's really living her why when she was 14 years old. Her dream was to be a mother and do that first and foremost. And uh, because of everything that she set out to do, she's living that dream and um, gets to take our kids to school, make them lunches, uh, pick them up every day. So we went from literally seven babysitters and before care, after care, uh, summer camps, spring break camps, <laughs> camp, camp, camp. Christmas camps, whatever, uh, to now none of those camps uh, other than summer camp because that was after COVID. And she was like ready to pull her hair out uh, trying to homeschool. But in any case, we we're both living our dream and the forever diet coaching program for those of you that are in it. And for those of you that are looking for something different, it's called forever diet coaching because it's one and done. Once you're in, you're in it for life. And uh, Holly read and gives her uh, team the book, the go giver. Is oh that my the gosh, title? It's such a good book. And it's so essentially the premise give to receive. So, I've decided with our Forever Diet coaching program, you buy the 90-day coaching, but you're in the coaching for life. It's one and done as far as payment goes, but forever in terms of the coaching. And this is an example. We decided to go live on all these platforms just to, to provide an example for those of you that need something, need that community, and, and are looking for coaching, looking for guidance. Um, that's what it's all about. And Holly does the same thing with her business, her clothingpreneur business. And uh, so if you're looking for a side hustle or looking for something to do to help um, promote a brand that is unbelievable and you get to wear the clothes and share with your friends and give them discounts, um, please. I basically get where I get paid for getting dressed. Yeah, so she gets paid get for paid. wearing this. Well, you can't <laughs> not get apron. Paid for getting dressed and having fun doing TikTok Tuesdays. Hit me up. <laughs> yeah. So in the comments, your second assignment. Hey, wait, I want to get paid to wear clothes. If you're interested in um, doing anything uh, related to the Forever Diet, Triumph, Triumph Nation. Triumph Nation is our free Facebook group. Uh, or working um, with Holly as a brand partner or as a customer of her amazing leggings, which you can't, I'm looking at her butt right now. Woo. Getting hot in here, out of his and the gym. oven is turned off. Work out of his gym, right? But, okay, uh, Mr. Brian, what are we doing here? We are getting to it. Let's get into some pasta time. Pasta time. Uh, last week we did pizza or pizza. pizza. Oh my goodness, that was so good. If you didn't see that, yeah. go back. Go That's back. Look at our my um, Triumph Nation, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, the or pizza. just type in pizza. Yeah, we'll send it to you. We'll send it to you. And then, uh, but tonight. 
uh, why is it important to or even consider pasta substitutes? So you don't feel like garbage. Because yeah, for the most people, you know, it's not to feel like garbage. But let's get into the weeds for one minute. I only promise you one minute. So this book, fast carbs, slow carbs. Uh, I guess I should show everybody. Woo, woo, woo. Um, the obesity code. These are all brand new books, hot off the presses. Always hungry by David Ludwig. He's a Harvard researcher, most commonly associated with uh, nutrition research. Then we have getting into more of the deeper weeds, the wheat belly, and by a doctor. Now, now we're talking about very specific reasons not to eat grain-based products. And this is my favorite. And Holly did this book on oh Audible. Gosh, really good. I've read the original version and this revised version by David Perlmutter, The Grain Brain. And so all these books uh, point out many, uh, all the scientific reasons that are emerging very quickly and rapidly for why we shouldn't eat refined grain-based products. And by refined grains, guess what? Wheat is a grain and it is my number one food on the hit list. So if I had a blacklist, if I was a hit man, a nutritional hit man, wheat would be the number one, enemy number one on my blacklist. Uh, so little short shameless plug, the magic pill published in 2012 also pointed out a long time ago before these other books, the problems with eating wheat and high glycemic carbohydrates. So all those books I just showed you have been published very recently, but the problem is with grain based foods, particularly wheat and sugar has been villainized. Everybody knows sugar is not good for us, but you got to understand it's not just the gluten in wheat. It's all of the refined carbohydrates in wheat that cause a hyperinsulinemic response, which leads to a response in the body that's going to store fat quickly and efficiently and overabundantly. And then if you do this day in, day out, which is unfortunately the standard American diet, SAD, SAD, appropriately named, then you are going to ultimately build up insulin resistance. So that's your uh, muscle cells and your liver are saying, uh, they basically start blocking the receptors to insulin. Your body has to produce more insulin. That's what insulin resistance is. And then ultimately metabolic dysfunction and diabetes, type 2 diabetes. So this is the scare tactic. And I'm sorry if this offends you, but carbs will freaking kill you. I want to say the other F yeah. word, but um, carbs kill. I, I, was, I, I decided to today <laughs> that I'm going to get a T-shirt that says carbs kill. I don't Not care. vegetable carbs. People are going to be like, what? Right. But I don't care. It'll create a conversation. Yeah. And you got to understand that refined carbohydrates, since the 1970s, we went from predominantly mostly whole food based diet right, to now 65% of the calories we eat in America on average are refined processed carbs. Wow. And fat has come down. Fat got hammered in if you still think fat is cause heart disease you need to forget that unbrainwash yourself it's carbs kill high glycemic carbohydrates refined grains sugars flours um rice rice flour corn flour cornmeal corn starch potato starch which are in all processed foods are going to essentially put you in an early grave and this book, and if, if a lot of people, like now cancer, like everybody knows a cancer survivor, but does anybody know an Alzheimer's survivor? Do you? No. Do you? Alzheimer, you do not survive Alzheimer's. In that book, The Grain Brain, I showed you, talks about how hyperinsulinemia or higher insulin from eating refined grains, particularly wheat, will triple quadruple your chances for getting Alzheimer's as well as diabetes and every other disease known to man. So that is your why. We always talk about a why and how it's really good about whys. That if you're watching this and you, you're thinking of someone that needs to watch this, just tag them.
say, hey, I, I would like you to watch this. Even if it's only a segment, go back and watch the segment. Because, guys, we're really trying to help you. We're also trying to help you help someone else. This is really, this is really important stuff here. So tag somebody. Yes, right now. Put it in there if you're watching this. I saw a few people tag people, and I'm like, awesome. oh, thank you for thank caring you. enough about someone for tagging. Yeah, um, if you're watching this later on the replay, same thing. Put their name in it. Facebook's amazing. Watch these weirdos. They've got good information. Yeah, you can <laughs> slam us, but don't slam the information. Oof, a little massage. Um, so that's okay. kind of cool. So it's, it's past the time. We talk about mm -hmm. why, the why. And we always do why, what how or why, what, when, but um, Holly, do you want to kind of talk about some of these? Y'all got, y'all can't see them, but who wants to, oh, in good. the chat, talk about pasta sauces. These yeah. make it quick and easy to throw together some pasta. Um, you Can know, you yeah, I want you to talk about why it's important to read the labels. So I was gonna, I was gonna say, who goes to the grocery store and finds things either on sale or something that looks pretty or looks interesting but doesn't actually look at the label. Probably most people. I didn't look at labels until I met him. I was like, labels, why would I read the label? I'll be like, yeah, that looks good. I don't know what I'm reading. So what's really cool is we do teach you, now that I know, uh, how to read labels. And we've also taught our children how to read labels. So what's interesting is you'll find out that you'll have pasta sauces that have four grams of sugar, and then you'll have pasta sauces that have This is per a half cup serving. Per, per, per serving. So 10 grams of sugar. That's and a distinct difference. You've got something that's a half of a cup, four grams of sugar, a half of a cup, 10 grams of sugar. I don't care if it's on sale, you're hurting yourself. You're still hurting your pocket because your health is in danger, right? So. And point this out, the. Oh my goodness, added I didn't even read that. That's versus I, I, zero added. Added four grams of added sugars. So, I, so if you guys don't know, because of the labeling FDA, actually the author of this book, when he was the chairman of the FDA, the only thing he got to pass through Congress was changing our nutrition facts labels to reflect added sugar. So what is added wow. sugar? That means the manufacturer literally adds extra sugar into the product on top of the naturally occurring sugar. So zero added sugars. In a tomato sauce, you're going to have added, or you're going to have sugar because tomatoes have sugar, um, you know, whatever. It's real sugar. But added sugar, that means they're just throwing gas on the flames and adding additional sugar. And that's why. And they're addicted to it. They want you to come back. Yeah. Sugar is very addicting. It's very inflammatory in the form of sucrose as opposed to the naturally occurring sugar in tomatoes. But I don't, here's a. Holly's the most frugal person on the planet, <laughs> which has been amazing. It saved us tens of thousands of dollars in our 14 years of marriage. How much does it cost? What am I saving? So I don't care if this is BOGO, if this is buy one, get 15, you don't buy it because it's going to kill your health. Do you want to take 15 years off your life to save $1.50? No, you don't. So read the labels. That's the point of showing that. So we kind of like our two of our favorites are... Primal Kitchen and Rouse are, are zero added sugars. And this one, if you're looking for something gourmet, you don't want to make, I'm going to make a homemade pasta sauce. I'm going to show you how fast and easy it really is and share a little story about Wolfgang Puck with you guys. My wife did his makeup <laughs> and he was kind of jealous that I'm married to her. He was like throwing me under the bus. Like if that dude is a schmuck, no. you need to come over to Wolfgang's. So if you uh, like sales, layer. Publix has this one, buy one, get one free a lot. So if you're so, a buy one, get one free girl. So all of our faves are zero added sugars. Um, Primal Kitchen, Del Grosso, and Rouse. Those are all available at your local grocery stores. In our case, it's Publix here in Tampa, Florida area. But that's just a little quick thing on pasta. And a lot of people are afraid to make your own pasta sauce because they think it's too complicated. But we're going to eliminate that little myth here today. And my mouth's watering thinking about it. It tastes so good. But so in the so chat, good. I want um, you to put, before we get into pasta substitutes, in your chat or comments if you're on Facebook, just put in there what pasta substitutes you've already tried. 
Uh, and if you want to double down, you can put a thumbs up or a thumbs down if it worked for you. If it didn't work for you, you can say, I tried um, Zoodles and no way in hell I'm going to eat those again. <laughs> Whatever. We're just trying to get a flavor for. And we'll have some tips and tricks on how to do the zucchini noodles where they're not mushy. Yeah. So that's the point of putting that. In? Yeah. So what we're going to do first is get into what I'm going to do is from most hard or least hardcore, sorry, most hardcore to least hardcore pasta substitutes. So what does that mean? So least hardcore would be, uh, or sorry, most hardcore would be ones that, you know, maybe you're less likely to try, whereas least hardcore is going to be almost identical. You probably won't even miss it to the real thing. So we're going to start with most hardcore which I posted last week, the pasta salad. And essentially, either... Basically, okay. Basically, you, it you sure. can talk it through. So whatever, if you want to do something quick and easy, here it is. Get one of these low sugar sauces, brown some ground beef, ground turkey, ground chicken, Finally drain it, it <laughs> put, pour this in. This How long does that take? I mean, brown grief, brown grief, brown ground beef if it's <laughs> ground sirloin you don't even have to drain it if it's ground beef 80 20 you might want to drain it in the colander uh but fat will not make you fat then you pour this in and pop it over okay this is the quickie yes it's in a bag if you don't if you don't have time to cut up lettuce let's be this realistic one, buy let's one, be get real. one free buy one get one free so there's lots of options uh just put it over lettuce yeah so Pasta, literally salad I have my favorite bowl. Uh, well, this is not it, but it oh, looks I'm a lot your, like this. I'm using your favorite bowl. Oh, well, she is. Here's my favorite bowl, which has our chicken sausage in it. So I would fill this up with spinach, kale, some kind of mixed greens, the Italian greens she bought, BOGO. And then Holly would do this bowl. And then we just take that meat sauce or whatever if it's chicken whatever you can do chicken sausage which we got for our rigatoni or our baked ziti which we're going to demo here shortly and just throw it over the salad eat it so that's probably the most hardcore but i love it so spaghetti squash here's our first demo um holly pre-baked this for you guys okay you take a spaghetti squash you cut it in half and you're going to scoop out the seeds do not cook it with the seeds in you're going to scoop out the seeds and then you're going to take this, you're going to put a little bit of avocado oil, and you're going to put salt and pepper. You're going to flip this over, and you're going to bake it on a baking sheet with parchment paper, just like this, at 400 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the size. If it's squishy, that means it's done. You're going to flip it over, and it's going to look like this. Would it be also an option to... Cover it with foil and do it that way? Nope. I've never I've seen that on oh. keto recipe books. Well, the direction More than that one I way is to skin a cat. Here's a fork. I'll hold this. Just squash a... So I want okay. to be able to make sure everybody so can see. So what's really neat with a butternut squash... Butternut squash? I did that before. Spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash. Hence the name, spaghetti, spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash. You'll take a... My mouth is watering. It's no, this is off. awesome. It's all the so, pasta without the guilt. When you use a fork, y'all seeing this? It's going to come out just like the noodles in spaghetti. And you're going to create your own noodles with, oh my goodness, my mouth is watering, with the it's spaghetti like squash. Plate. So yeah, uh, I'm just going to do a little demo here and then I yeah. can do it on the side. So this is what it looks like. See that? Here. You can even do this Fill with it the into butter. a bowl. It's really good. Yeah. Our kids eat this. Your kids will eat it. Tell them it's really good. Don't tell them, I don't think you're going to like this, but try it. Human psychology. Hey, you know yeah. what? You're going to love this. It tastes really good. Yes. Right? Okay, so I'm going to finish this up over here. That is spaghetti squash and meatballs. So what I'm going to do is get the homemade pasta sauce going. And while Holly's doing that, our next demo is going to be zoodles. We're actually are going to have Holly right in front of your eyes. And I'm going to try to zoom in the cameras uh, so you can see how easy it is and I wish I had bought stock in Walmart um, because of the uh, spiralizer she's going to use. We've been, we've evolved through different spiralizers from the as seen on TV nine dollar one you can buy at Why Walgreens. Did you drop that on HSN? 
No, I'm talking about the oh. first one. Oh, the first one. We've evolved oh. <laughs> from the first one, $9 oh. as seen on TV at Walgreens, where you basically are twisting your zucchini into it. It's a little basically like a cheese grater. And then we got a, what was the second one that we gave to somebody? It was a power, you had to oh, crank it. Oh, the power one. You had non-power, you had that. to crank it. Yeah. Now we have a, a powered one that works amazing. You can set different attachments. You can make all different kinds of noodle sizes. And uh, so she's going to do that second while I get the pasta can sauce. I yeah, show them all the Aren't different cameras. Okay, but it looks like, do you guys ever eat while you're cooking? I get in so much trouble. She drinks while she's cooking. And I I'm not, not talking about water. Busted right here. Everybody knows me. If you know me, I'm Tara. Tara Callhorst, Christy Bell. Yes. All right. So here's before we do the zoodles. Um, we'll try. I'm going to show you guys. Holly's going to talk about it while I'm doing this. And I just realized. I bet you nobody can hear us on Facebook. On oh, mine. Uh oh. I am not smart. You are very smart. You're nervous. And that's okay. We just realized the <laughs> mic isn't plugged in. Welcome to live television. Oh, my goodness. This is what live TV is like. My Zoom clients, hopefully you can hear me. but Can you guys hear? Those of you on Facebook oh. probably can't and are tuned out. That's okay. Oh, so Take sad. Take two. Welcome Take to live two. television. Would you like some of my wine? I think I need a <laughs> shot. Mm. <laughs> They think Actually, it's funny. You drink too much of my wine. Oh, God. All right. That's okay. There you go. That's why we practice. Cheers to, to real people, right? I was wondering why I wasn't dragging around my cable. I have like 20 feet of microphone cable here to... Uh, you know what? You're almost perfect. No, never. That's okay. All right. So uh, we will be sharing Holly's video. So that is unfortunate. All right. So hopefully, if you're tuning in now, watching live, you can actually hear us on any of my channels. But um, let's get into real quick a, a quick and easy pasta substitute or no pasta sauce. And Holly, share the story about Wolfgang. Uh, what he said. I would just want to show you. I'm, this is one of my proudest possessions. What does that say right there? So I'm at HSN and Wolfgang is there nuts. and I'm working with him. And I, I brought, did I bring that book? No, I walked in and I said, my Too husband's nuts. a huge fan. He loves you so much. And he looks at me and goes, well, you don't love me? I was like, um, yes, I love you too. <laughs> and he was like, just like, wait a minute, your husband loves me. It was really funny. It was funny. I, throughout my uh, career being a makeup artist, I've met some really amazing people. And one of them was Wolfgang. And uh, I was like, can you please sign this for my husband? So he ended up signing up, signing. Did he say chicken up in there? I think you asked him to. Yeah, it said chicken up and make me dinner. Little inside joke. Chicken up, make me dinner. You'll have to ask later. So he signed this. Um, I came home and I got brownie points. Yes, she did. I got my <laughs> so. book. So this is amazingly simple to throw together as you're about to see. I'm gonna do it in literally, uh, now Holly prepped a lot of the ingredients. We diced up a white onion, seven cloves of garlic. If you don't like that much garlic, you can tone it down. Uh, here's the secret ingredient though. Uh, four pepperoni slices chopped up, and you don't have to remember all the ingredients. I'm gonna post a recipe for all of you guys. And tomatoes, tomato paste, uh, a, Half cup of bone, uh, beef broth, some fresh herbs, some a bay leaf, some Italian seasoning, some kosher salt, some uh, we'll olive oil. We'll post the recipe. Don't worry. Yeah. So we'll post it. But literally, uh, I have the pan hot. In, and if you've been following us, we know we don't saute with olive oil. We use the avocado oil because of the oxidation who, temperatures. Say, who can say why? That's okay. Does anybody know the... Oxidation or smoke point of olive oil. What put is the smoke the point of olive oil? Brownie point. Yeah, put that I in the chat. I made you a gift. Smoke point. Don't Google it. Be honest. Yeah, don't Google it. That doesn't Who knows count. This? Smoke point of olive oil. 
Yeah, so I am, I love the classic wooden spoon, which God knows what's attached to it. Probably my child's skin. No, we don't beat them with a wood stick, but <laughs> we do want them sometimes. So like digging in the dirt, maybe. I'm going to crank that up. So basically, you saute the onions a little bit. Then you're going to throw in the garlic. And while I'm doing that, Holly, if you want to yes, sir. start cranking on the zoodles, show how okay. easy that is. And Lots of stuff in the way. Let me just grab. Maybe I should put that over here. I don't know. Let's see. Can you put it aside? My stuff. Is this possible to go right here? I'll do that. Well, if you unplug it. Um, okay, would you like to move on that side? This is cool. Flexibility is the key to air power. We so say in the Air Force. So. I have the onions going. Holly is, that is our fancy dancy spiralizer powered, which I'll turn my students over. Hopefully you can see that. And those of you on Facebook world. So what we're doing uh, is getting to the next hardcore. Spaghetti squash is pretty easy. Or some people get weirded out. I was a no squash kind of guy, but I can do zoodles all day long. Let me show you guys what this does. Can, uh, this. It already started, it's too late. Yeah. Can we change it? <laughs> yeah. Just talk to me, you can make it in, like literally in spaghetti noodles. For a beginner, it's probably the best bet. Smaller is better if you are not a squash fan. But uh, I have my onions going and garlic going. Pretty cool, right? Turn that down a little bit. Ooh, smelling good. Well, Holly's making her zoodles and she'll show you what those look like. Okay, so you have the right setting and I couldn't tell until I was done. So these are a little bit thicker. I do like to use this, uh, and I do apples, if you've ever done raw apples, with this setting right here. I personally like this, but I will switch it, and I'll do spaghetti as well. So this um, this makes a nice spiral. This looks pretty, though, doesn't it? You look pretty? So yes, it looks pretty. So the next thing I'm going to add, the so far onions. Garlic. Now I'm putting in a can of tomato paste. Everybody can do this. Everybody can do this. This is not complicated. So basically, you just incorporate that tomato paste. I eat while I cook. Let it brown a little bit mm. under the. I have it on medium, a little above medium heat. And the next ingredient is going to be the beef broth, if I remember correctly. Chicken. Well, there's yeah, a chicken. Well, I, we were pretending. It was oh, beef I'm broth. sorry. I, shh, I didn't say chicken. Yeah, shh. the recipe calls for beef broth. But if you don't, you can throw in some chicken broth or chicken vegetable chicken. broth. It's not going to cause any problem. So I have a half cup of chicken broth, but. Beef broth, pretend, and we're just incorporating that. That's not that. really good. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, this is real food. If you've been following like either of us bad. for any length of time, the mystery of health is eating, solving the mystery of health is eating real food or whole food, whatever you want to call it. Um, so we have, so far, the first five ingredients in. Then uh, just to speed things up, I would saute that much. Then I'm throwing in a 20 ounce count of diced tomatoes with the juice. Now you're going to get that naturally occurring sugar, which in this whole can, there is 20 grams of naturally occurring sugar from the tomatoes. Zero grams of added sugar. This is literally tomatoes and water. So that's where a lot of the sugar in the pasta sauce comes from, but you don't want any added sugars. So I'm just going to mix that in real quick. 
And this is where you can get a little creative as far as what you add. But Holly's going to be sad for a second because I'm going to pour some of the red wine, her wine. Calls for a quarter cup. We can go a half, but Holly might be upset. So I'm going to put in a little more than a quarter cup to leave her a splash of wine and stir that in. And then we get into some of our spices. So here is one of the... This is the unusual ingredient. It is four pepperoni slices chopped up or diced, and that just gives it a very unique flavor. Throw that in. Then uh, I have a one bay leaf. Guys, this doesn't have to simmer for 47 hours. Literally, it's 20 minutes, and it's done. Then I'm going to put in some Italian seasoning, about a tablespoon if you like Italian seasoning, go crazy, put some more. Then we have a teaspoon of kosher sea salt or kosher salt, or you can use sea salt. If you've been cooking long enough, you can measure in the, I did wash my hands, but I know what a teaspoon looks like. I teaspoon right me. there, throw that in, and some fresh. I would normally put this in a little bit later, but Holly diced up a bunch of fresh Italian parsley. And do we have any bay leaves? Or not bay leaves, basil? Yes, your client actually gave basil. But it doesn't call, but you can throw that in. Um, or even better is garnish, garnish the sauce with it at the end. So basically that's simmering and I can- How many cuts honey? If you like basil, which we love basil, her mom grows basil. We get people bring us basil all the time. Amazing herb. But other than that, the only last ingredient is some fresh ground pepper, which I have two different mills. Actually, I have three different mills. I know. Stop buying pepper. Right so my dad pepper. gave me this is a Greek mill, a classic. And then this one, and you can adjust the coarseness of your pepper. And this one. I just wanted the seeds, but it came with its own grinder, so I'm lazy. You guys need to vote. Do we need three things of pepper or four? So we're going to put some fresh ground pepper in there. <laughs> so do that to taste, and literally, that's it. You just simmer it for, I'm going to turn it down to a simmer, and simmer that for 20 minutes, and it's ready to go. Do you want me to put basil in there, honey, or later? You can throw some basil in there. But wait, there's more. You can add basil. Yeah, and dried oregano. I did the Italian seasonings instead of the individual ones uh, just to make it a little bit easier. But that's it. And I will tell oh, you, I made it. I mom's tomato. My mom grows tomatoes. Yes, she does. She made fresh tomato. So, really? yeah. But we're gonna, we were going to talk about dicing that and throw it on top. So, oh, okay. anyway, sauce is going, which we're going to use in a little bit. But keep in mind, if you don't want to do that, Safe bet, Primal Kitchen, all of our clients know. This is a company you can trust. I've met Mark Sisson, the founder. He was the one that started Mark's Daily Apple. He started essentially the Primal Movement, which became the Paleo Movement, but it's Whole Foods. Um, you can trust their brand. Their mayo is ama amazing. Their dressings are amazing, and uh, their pasta sauce is amazing. Everybody, we've recommended to it. I should have stock. We should have stock in this company. I know. We should have stock. But if you want to do this simple, you don't even have to make your own sauce. Just buy it, ground some or brown some ground beef, ground chicken, ground turkey, or Italian sausage, or in this case, herb Italian herb spice chicken sausage. If you want a little less fat, don't get afraid of fat. So, what would you do with those zoodles? Do you explain uh, how we do it? So I like to keep them fresh and I don't like to cook them. So you'll see some recipes that say blanch or saute or cook. Do not cook them. They are so much better when you do them when my mouth is watering so much. Mm -hmm. It smells so good. So they're so much better when they're raw because they're crispy. When you pour the hot sauce on top, it lightly steams them. So it gives it more of an al dente taste. So we did this at my parents' house and they were like, wow, this tastes so good. I was like, no, don't cook it, mom and dad. So they were pretty surprised. They were really happy with what it like so don't yeah. cook them do not cook Draw. them just put them in your serving bowl serving plate pour the hot sauce over it 
and the heat, assuming your sauce is hot, will just heat it up just enough where it's a little bit like al dente pasta and, and be more likely that you actually enjoy it. And uh, before we get into the the, the big, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to make some baked ziti. Do you have that cottage cheese? I do. Uh, I asked you, yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to make the world's healthiest baked ziti. Is it this one? Yes. So you can open that. Do I get a brownie point? You do. Brownie points. Um, but before we do that, brownie point. bean pastas. So we talk about uh, one thing we want to point out, like Holly pointed out, read the labels. Do not be duped by marketing BS. Like this says, this makes super me green pasta. Do not trust the label. Read I'll, it. I'll tell you a funny story after. Please, you wanna? So, super green pasta. You would assume that it's made from super greens, correct? Read the labels. Ingredients. First ingredient: wheat flour. Second ingredient: durum flour. <laughs> Third ingredient: dried vegetables. Powder. Powder. <laughs> dried vegetable powder. Uh, so that could be less than five percent. Um, which it probably is, judging by the nutrients. So total carbohydrates, 40 grams per serving, which is identical well, it to looks regular green, so it pasta. So it should be healthy for you. It so, looks green. It yeah. On it. So yeah, you're getting a little bit of polyphenols from the added greens, but you're still getting 100% of the insulin damage that will be the carbs that kill you uh, so, in that pasta. Do you want to laugh? For a minute, you'll laugh at me. So the frugal side of me, there was another container of pasta, it was $2.99, you know, $3. And uh, I almost bought it because it said cauliflower pasta. And the first ingredient, again, was flour. And then the second ingredient was rice. And then the third ingredient was like cauliflower powder. I didn't buy it because I didn't want to spend the $3 because I knew we weren't going to eat it. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to waste another $3. I mean, if you found $3 on the ground, you'd probably pick it up, right? Three bucks is three bucks. But I told you that story. So cool. Um, <laughs> so cool. Whatever sauce you're doing, uh, next on my list would be uh, one of the things we like to do. If you have a bunch of bell peppers laying around, we get our Misfits box, which this time they just slammed us with a bunch of different red, yellow, and orange bell peppers. Mm -hmm. So you can take those, literally cut them into small strips, saute them in some avocado oil, throw them in a bowl, and pour your meat sauce over them i call those oh, so pepper pasta and uh so that's an easy so you're creating the volume with the peppers which are fiber water and phytonutrients and zero very low carbs so that's uh option number five then uh you can do it without anything this is one of my favorite things to do create a great meat sauce with grass-fed ground beef or high quality protein and you know if we're in a pinch we'll just use one of these and takes you literally uh, whatever time it takes to brown the ground beef and drain it or not drain it add the sauce heat it up you know 10 minutes or less you have what i call pasta less meat sauce and i just eat it in a bowl uh, by itself and then uh so now we're on to the uh least hardcore option and this is the one i start people off that are meat and potato and pasta type people and that is, um, we have black bean, lentil pasta. Those are um, like this one, chickpea fettuccine. But black bean, lentil, and some of the other beans are going to be a little bit more on the hardcore side versus a chickpea pasta. Chickpea pasta, a legitimate one. Make sure you read the labels. Like we have these to illustrate the difference. You can see. Mm. This one says chickpea pasta or fettuccine technically. And this one says, elbows made from chickpeas. Let me read the ingredients. This one first. <laughs> Chickpea fettuccine. Ingredients. Can you read it? Certified organic edamame. That doesn't sound like chickpeas to me. Mm -hmm. it sounds a lot like soybeans. And nothing against soybeans. Then chickpeas, 30%. So 30% of this is chickpeas and the rest is soybeans. So this is, should be soybean pasta, not chickpea pasta. This one, if we find the ingredients, chickpeas, tapioca, pea protein. So 
most of this is going to be your chickpeas. Tapioca starch is a good binder, so I know that it needs a lot of that. And basically, you're getting a lot more protein, a lot more fiber, and um, the carbohydrates are from the chickpeas instead of flour. So this is this is where we're going to make some magic here with the baked ziti. This is I had Holly get some elbows. The one I really think works great is bonza and it makes a shell pasta um literally shells like you would buy in a box and you can do where to go oh there it is i can oh okay this this is homemade mac and cheese that your kids will love your oh, husbands will really love good. your friends will love if you don't tell them it's chickpea pasta they won't know the difference you boil the shells while you're boiling the shells, you take this cheese powder and add it to either grass-fed milk, heavy cream, or half and half, depending on exactly how much fat. You can throw some grass-fed butter in there. Just Google um, keto mac and cheese. But we're going to do a whole demo on this one day. But it's like I, the good stuff, not the cheap junkie thing. No, this one's really yeah. good, yeah. literally made from cheddar cheese. And um, salt and whey protein and butter. So add this. You stir it. Make sure your little cheese sauce. Hello. You dump in your cooked shells, uh, whether you're making a pot or you can throw it in a baking dish. And then put some real shredded cheddar over that high quality aged cheddar. And you will have the most amazing mac and cheese on the planet. And nobody will know the difference. And you just make it with chickpea pasta. So our grand finale, grand finale is going to be baked ziti, as promised. So this will be, I don't care, you take the most Italian of pasta lovers, and I would be hard-pressed to think they would know the difference. So Holly, I'm going to have you pour in the cooked chickpea pasta. So we used, I had the box somewhere. Been sitting there for a Here while. It is. I'm gonna need to separate a little the bit. rigatoni. So we're using the same brand of rigatoni, uh, which is about the closest you can get to ziti. I don't know if they make actual ziti. I don't know what that is. Okay, keep going. And then we're going to ever have a debate in your house. Some people like meat, some people like sausage, some people like tomatoes, some people like tomatoes. tomatoes. <laughs> well, we're gonna do a half Z, half and half. We have the Italian chicken sausage. So I'm going to put that on half of it. Do we have that mozzarella handy? Yes. So Holly's getting out some shredded mozzarella. So I'm putting on half of this, just topping some of this protein, however much you want. We like a lot of protein. Protein satiates. I don't know if you can see that. But I'm just covering half of it with this pre-cooked chicken sausage. And then the other half with... Grass-fed ground beef that Holly already browns, and we're just going to dump that on top. Again, hands are washed. Not that we care. We eat food off the floor here to build your immunity. <laughs> Holly may not agree with that, but I teach my kids to. All right. So depending on how much protein. What's on the floor right now? What can we eat? All right. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So we have our. Chickpea pasta, and then we have covered that with half of it with the sausage, half of it with the ground beef. And then we're gonna, I can take this sauce and pour that over it, but I'm not gonna do that. So that has about 10 more minutes. So I'm gonna take, Holly, which one you want? I'll let you pick. We have the Sunday marinara, we have the tomato basil, we have the primal kitchen marinara. What a primal kitchen. All right, so I'm gonna take that. Primal Kitchen Marinara, if you can see this, all I'm doing is, I can actually turn the camera down this way, so y'all can see, and just dump it over. That looks good. I'm hungry. And if that's, just kind of move it around a little bit, and then Holly's going to, no, no. going to add. No. Anybody, any good Italian, if Al's watching, knows we got to have the ricotta. So instead of ricotta cheese, we're going to use this Good Life, Good Culture 
cottage cheese. You will not know the difference. You can substitute cottage cheese in higher protein, uh, lower glycemic, and I'm just putting that on top. You can do this as lasagna as well. You can obviously do lasagna noodles, which I don't know if Bonza makes chickpea pasta them. noodle than big lasagna type noodles, but this is a close substitute. And cheese fell on the floor. You can look it up. Yep, I'll eat that while Holly's kind of rubbing that around. And then we'll show the camera. You guys, you know you want to try this. We're not even done yet. And so so far so good. Holly's gonna put the shredded mozzarella over that. I'm gonna turn the heat down on our homemade tomato sauce. <laughs> Can you probably couldn't hear our kids just going <laughs> can you guys hear the kids thumbs up <laughs> cool cool is that enough yes okay and all we're gonna do is pop that in the oven check that out everybody see that so easy I mean literally like too easy pop that in the oven for about 15 minutes and then what I'm gonna do with all these extra ingredients, the sausage and the ground beef, is I'm gonna add it to our homemade tomato sauce. And we're gonna have so much goodness right there. And that will be my pasta-less Okay, who sauce. in Triumph Nation's gonna try this? Give me a thumbs up. Sherry, you just wait till you come stay with us. She's like, oh yeah, we're gonna feed you well. Okay, I'm going through. Who wants to try this? Promise is like, oh yeah. Sabrina! Hi guys. Oh, I love you guys. I miss you. Okay. And if you're Who's got, currently oh, I see watching Who's on, try Facebook, this on my Facebook? Say me. Who's going to yeah. cook for me? Who's going to cook for me? All right. So let's go through. Um, so that's going to bake. Hopefully this was uh, informative for you guys. I uh, got this. We're excited because we're going through, we're pursuing our passions in life. Yeah. And, uh, and Holly, I would say she's the ultimate giver. She's an example I'm trying to be like. So I want to learn from her and give even more. And we're excited about doing more things like this. So if you could in the comments, if you're watching on Facebook or on uh, the chat, just put, you know, if this was beneficial helpful you saw how easy it really was it wasn't that complicated i'm going to post the recipe for that um, tomato sauce on zoom and on um, all of our facebook channels and uh, so if that was helpful but how can you guys get involved yeah. with us so this is our little promo um, if you were interested if you're watching on facebook and you want that forever diet coaching just put in the comments forever um, just put the word forever so I'll know you want more information. I'll actually send you the link and uh, we'll have a conversation on what the program is all about. It's 90 days of oh, okay. active coaching, but you're in the program for life. You're in the forever life coaching group, uh, which everybody that's on Zoom, you're in it for life, whether you like it or not. You are stuck with us. Yes. Whether and you like it or not. We're going to provide more <laughs> and more uh, useful, helpful content. So tell uh, them how they can be a brand partner or customer with your uh, clothing line. Okay, who likes to wear clothes? Well, I like being naked sometimes. You have I like to when wear she's clothes. Naked. So. <laughs> you have to wear clothes, right? But who likes to wear clothes? Yay! Who would like clothing to be part of their business? Who likes to support their shopping habit? <laughs> Say, I do, I do, I do. Um, if you're following me, I'm sure you've seen some of our girl gang. We have a great community. I'm not here just to sell clothes. I'm here to create a great culture and community of women coming together to be here for one another. Uh, what's happening in the world, I feel lately, people are very separated and they don't have the community that we used to have before. So what we're doing is we're creating an amazing community of women coming together um, just with empowerment for one another and loving one another, whether you're an extra small or you're a three X, everyone's created equal in our eyes. And we love you for you. So if you're interested, if you want a side hustle or a side gig, or you want to support your shopping habit, let me know. And I can give you some more information on that. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Just put in the comments what? 
tell me more about clothing. Just put clothing in the clothing, comments. Clothing, yeah. Clothing in the comments. And say, I want to join your girl gang. Yeah. Uh, if you are a local area, Triumph uh, is going to be the tra transformation epicenter of Tampa Bay. And uh, so we have a integrated, all-inclusive training, nutrition, mindset, and coaching, and accountability, and community all wrapped up in a one for – Way less than you would pay for a, just a six-week nutrition program at one of the more popular programs in Tampa Bay. So we're uh, price right, and then you also get in that forever diet program. Also, you can join us on Triumph Nation. It's our free Facebook group where we will be streaming demos like this. Uh, so just search Triumph Nation as a group and invite yourself and or request to join. We'll accept you. Well, what I would say the neat part is you get so much value. You get us. I mean, come on. That's a lot of value. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> and that's you like, her. No. So we're new at doing the live. So thank you guys for putting up with us. Thank you for encouraging us. This is fun. We like doing stuff like this. We like demoing, doing different cooking demos. But, oh, I can try it. Over, yeah. so Let fun. it cool down while you're My talking. My mouth is going whoosh. Um, so what's nice is you not only get to help transform your life, but you also get to help transform someone, transform someone else's life and help them as well. So can I have them right now? Yeah, so this is the so homemade Wolfgang Puck tomato sauce. You, Cherry's like, yes. Look how and good this looks. Yes, it is amazing. And all I'm, you saw how yeah. easy it was to make. And then I just dumped in the grass fed ground beef and the chicken sausage that Holly prepped. Oh my goodness. Isn't it? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mm. Mm -mm. What? Wow. What? I'm not exaggerating. I'm not acting. Wow. Every time I make that, I'm like, God, wow. it's so easy, but it hits you right in the mouth. So I'm gonna that was post it. that recipe, which All I posted worth it. <laughs> in the promo. <laughs> if you watch the pictures in the promo, I have the recipe, but I'll post it again. And you guys, gotta make it. Give a shout out to Wolfgang for putting that together. Mm. It's amazing. And and try the caveat. I'm gonna challenge you to try it over the zoodles. Try it over the spaghetti squash. Which oh, I like this challenge. That's yeah. Good. And Your then let us know what you did. Yeah. yeah. So Take we're going to pour that over this. That's what we're about to eat. Mm. More than what we'll do. Some of this. We'll do I'm some gonna of the eat all of this. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to go to town. And I then obviously, can. then for food prep, we'll just put those into glass Tupperwares, individually portioned out, and we'll have meals for a week. It's 9 o'clock. We did good. Yeah. And we Long just time. prepped meals for a week. We prepped for tonight. And... Hopefully you guys got a lot out of it. So if you did, please like we did. give us I a shout a out. Miranda, let us know. Going to love this. And love this. Uh, hit us up on Triumph Nation. If you're interested in the Forever Diet Coaching Program, just put Forever in the comments or in the chat. Uh, well, if you're in the chat, you're already in the program, so don't do that. But, uh, <laughs> you get it forever. You're in it forever, so you can't run away. Tell your friends. And for those of you in the Forever Diet Program, some amazing success stories. Everybody. Here, uh, um, I'm looking forward to the never ending journey. Uh, so more to come on that. We're going to talk about a live coming up on the fast coming up next week. Some strategies for those of you who want to try it. Uh, for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, part of the forever diet is building up through intermittent fasting to a three day, um, fasting mimicking program where you still get some fat for energy and, but you can do some amazing things for your health. So, if you want information, hit forever on the comments, and uh, I'll send you some info. Brand partners, and uh, we're about to go eat. We're you excited. Good job, Kaden. And uh, thank you, guys. Thank you to our kids for being so respectful. That was amazing. And uh, we love all of you on all the channels. I apologize I for you. mine. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. And I uh, apologize for my Facebook peeps uh, for the sound issues. Uh, for those of you that are tuning in late. So I'll put in the comments what happened. And we'll, <laughs> we'll uh, probably have to salvage those later. But y'all take care. Thank you guys. Have a great night. And uh, next, next week. next time. Yeah. We should do you have anything oh, you want to know? Oh, why don't you say what, uh, why don't you comment on something you would like to like us to cook? Maybe a healthier version? Yeah. Would that be fun? If, yeah. That sound good? Say, so I love that. this. Yeah. How can I make it like that? Exactly. So there you go. Put in the comments. Thank you. Hi, Danielle. I promise. Sherry. I don't know if I can see anybody else, but 
Holly knows this stuff better than me. Looks like we have four left. All right. Y'all have a great night. We will see you on the next. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye, guys. Lasagna. Do oh, Alfredo sauce. Marina says lasagna, do Alfredo. what I just did. Just make it with lasagna noodles. The chickpea. Or you can do it with sliced eggplant or sliced I zucchini. I need new ideas for All right. Hashimoto's. Take care. It's brutal. To Kelly, I can help you. He's so smart. Hashimoto's menu. We'll help you. No wheat. Okay, no wheat. Sorry, yeah. that's wheat's a big one. Big, big one. Big, big. Yeah. Anything that's inflammatory is Kelly's my new spirit auto animal. Immune animal. Issues. We met and we we're like instantly connected. <laughs> we're like, we're supposed to be friends. Okay. Uh, message me and we'll help you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Guys.